Hello, everybody. Welcome to this exciting episode of Bob the Sign Man. Uh, taking a little time off. Haven't made very many videos lately. It's been a month or so. Um, had a little problems in the sign shop. Our, uh, our IT, part, IT department upgraded us to Windows 10 Enterprise, which you have Home, Pro, and then the Enterprise, which is for big, big, you know, entities uh, to, to use. Anyways, my um, software that I use for the signs just uh, went haywire. It wouldn't work with Windows 10 Professional, but or, I mean Windows 10 Enterprise. So when you try to get your IT team and they talk to the developer on phone, conference calls, and telling them, and the developers tell them it will not work. The IDP part, IT department insists that it's going to work and they're going to make it work. Well, long story short, I was down for about a month because. The IT department couldn't get it to work because it doesn't work on Windows Enterprise, and that's what they tried to tell me. So anyways, been tied up with the IT department, so they're going to try to figure out something to do. Uh, we tried to get just a regular Windows standalone system with Windows Professional um, 10, but you know, the IT department, ooh, ooh we don't like that. So anyways, we're going to see what happens. So I'm back to my old Windows 7. Everything's fine. So anyways, running in the sign shop. Today... Special little treat here. I'm going to be demoing a automatic flagger. Uh, not too hip, not too sold on the system yet, but we'll see. Um, we're going to try it out, use it for a little while. They're a little pricey, but you know, so it's getting run over by car. So, anyways, um, we'll take a look at those and uh, tell me what you think of it. Coming right at you. All right, here we are live back again. Bob the sign man back up to the yard, and we're going to be testing out the. Um, auto flaggers to see what you guys think of it. Coming at you. Okay, how you doing there? Bob the Sign Man here. Today, I'm going to show you a little demo on these uh, auto flaggers. Uh, this is the auto flagger already stowed in its position. Uh, this is the other one, kind of give you a little sub side profile of it. You've got a uh, solar panel up here. Uh, there's a box in here with all the controllers. You can, uh, the signs will go up in the air. And it's got some neat features on it and stuff. I'll kind of show you what's going on with it. Uh, like I said, I'm not 100% sold on these things yet. Um, maybe it's one of those things that just takes time to get used to. Uh, I don't think it's ever going to replace a, a flagger on the road. You're still going to need a flagger to, to, to man one of these. The main idea is to keep you off of the road as much as possible when traffic's flowing and keep you a little bit safer. Um, definitely have to pay attention to what you're doing. These things are linked together so you can't do slow on both sides. It'll only let you do slow stop on one. I'll kind of go through that and show you um, a little bit on that. So um, without further ado, let's get into it. And I'll, I'm going to pair them together, set them up, and we'll give you a little demo. Okay. I got them paired up, and for demo purposes, um, just imagine this is on one side of the job site and this is on the other. I kind of want to show you how they both work. Um, I've got them paired up. It takes a little bit. Uh, there's some instructions on how to pair them up. You just follow the menu. Uh, you can switch sides or anything like that. Uh, if you're flagging and you forget which is which, it does have an audible horn that'll tell you which, which side is um, which. Um, so, I'm not too sold on these but the idea I guess is to keep your flagger off of the road so when one side is slow one side is going to be stopped and what you want to do since the one side is stopped and one side is flowing slow so once your traffic stops you want to um, make sure that you flip your sign to stop and see how it's going to flip to stop the arm will come down that arm is adjustable so you can move it in and out Okay. You can see how it, 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 the arm is adjustable and it will extend in and out. So that side is still going to say stop while you have your traffic stopped. And then you'll just hit your slow. It's going to go up. The red light will stop flashing. It turns around to slow. And it'll turn on the strokes. And there you go. Um, if you want to try to, if you accidentally try to hit another slow, it'll tell you both slows are not allowed. So what you'll have to do, your traffic is flowing through, flowing through, and you want to stop your traffic, you just hit your stop. So the slow is going to turn to stop, since that one's already on stop. And it'll give a few seconds to get some cars. You're still going to have to be out there to control the cars so they don't try to run through and you 
you know, run a red light or whatever you want to call it and uh, hit your control arm. Uh, I guess I, the main idea is to keep your flagger off the road most of the time. So now while you've got stop over there, you can hit slow mode and it's going to bring the sign up, turn off the red light, comes around to slow, and then the strobes will come on once the sign comes up. And wait on stop, go on slow. Um, you should still be there with your flagger to flag them by. Um, the There is a, uh, when you stow these things back away, there is a uh, electric motor. And they go up and down. The trailers can be towed in tandem. So you can tow both of them out at the same time. Or you can tow one behind the truck at the same time too. Um, so if you're, you're flagging in an area and you're moving, you can just leave it hooked up to your truck and move as you go. Like I said, I don't know if I'm completely 100% sold on those. You're still going to need some uh, some people out there. Uh, one of the selling points, I think the company says, oh, you can just use one flagger. I don't think we would ever do that. This is just more of a safety thing to keep you off the road. Um, you can be on this side of the road while your traffic is coming on that side of the road. But you're still going to have to make that visual contact uh, when you do hit your stop. Know, you're going to have to be out there to make sure that they're going to they're going to stop because your bar is going down. You're going to have to have your you know slow stop paddle out there to stop your traffic. And then once this is in the stop position, that one won't go up to stop or from stop to slow until this one's all the way on stop. Then you just hit your slow. It brings the arm up, and then it's going to bring the slow back around. And it turns off the red beacon up there and it starts to flash the yellow strokes. So like I said, I don't know if I'm completely sold on these things, but uh, I imagine they're not cheap. I think they run uh, $39,000, $40,000 for the pair. But uh, you know, sometimes I don't know if you can put a, a uh, price on safety. The only time I think these would probably work if one guy was controlling it is if you had a short distance, like you're out on a road and you're putting in a new culvert and you have a plate across the road, or you're doing something just in one spot all day and you have a tight zone and you don't have a whole lot of traffic, a low volume road, I think these would work good for one person. When you're on a high volume road, I would suggest two people. Again, we'll go up into the, uh, and if you try to accidentally turn this one to slow, it's not gonna do it, it's gonna give you the, the um, message on the screen, both slows are not allowed. So you have to turn that one to stop. And it still won't you, it won't let you do slow until that one is fully stopped and the arm is down. Fully stopped, arm is down, then it releases the mode here and it lets you turn this one to slow. It's gonna bring the arm up again, turn the side around, once it's completely done, then it'll flash the yellows, go on slow. So, I don't know, could be a, could be a good deal, I guess. Um, they're solar powered, and these units have a battery inside, which is pretty cool. And now, the battery inside, see it's inside the controller. It sets inside of the uh, controller and it is um, charged up by the solar in there. So that's a pretty good deal, I think. So you're always going to have a battery. So you're not going to be stuck out there if there's no battery. Uh, there's an instruction manual in it. It's pretty easy friendly, user friendly, I should say. And um, so it is what it is. And so there's my little short video on uh, auto flaggers. Um, so see what happens. Uh, we're going to try them out on a, on a couple roads. We, we've got these uh, loaned to us to try to see if we want to buy them or not. And uh, I think we're probably going to end up buying these things, so we'll, we'll see. Alrighty. And then to, to um, break these things down is really easy. I'll show you what you do. You just power down the side.
you raise your arms back up, your legs that you have down, you hook it up to your trailer, you tow it away. Pretty simple. Okay, well there's my little demo on the uh, auto flaggers, and I don't know if we're ever going to be able to replace this. Um, you're still going to have to be out there, I, I do believe, out there in your traffic. Uh, when it comes time to, um, when you're on slow, and your traffic's flowing, and your, your other sign down there is going to switch to stop, which is going to let all the traffic flow through. Um, and you'll have your traffic, uh, you know, going. And when you're, when it's your turn for your site to come, you're still going to have to get out there to stop your traffic, and then push your arm down when you're sure that the people are going to stop, and um, you know, get control of your situation and have the, that uh, first few cars stop, uh, so you can get out there and people know what's going on. You know, this should be up high enough to let people see what's going on because. Uh, you know, it's pretty hard to sit there and hold your sign way up in the air. So this, this should help a lot, I believe, but we'll just have to kind of see what happens. Like I said, um, it's never going to replace flaggers altogether. I don't uh, really see one person standing in a work zone because you don't know if you're going to have, uh, you know, line of sight good from each end or the other. And then what happens when somebody's not standing around? You know how people are um, in the Napa Valley is good for uh, tourists. They did stop, but then they went. Even though it says wait on stop, go on green, they might not be able to read, read English and know what that said, and they just kind of know what a stop sign is. They stop and then they went. So, you know, you gotta make sure you keep your public safety while we're keeping the worker safety, safety up too. And I think this is all about keeping the public safe and keeping the flagger safe because, you know, there's a lot of accidents, a lot of flaggers are lost every year. Um, so, we'll see. All right, as always, thanks for watching.